Good morning. It is Saturday the 28th of September and it is just 10 past 8 in the morning and we're up to watch Ireland play Japan in the Rugby World Cup. And right now the most important thing that I need is my coffee. It is half time in the match now and at the moment the score is 12 points to 9 and Ireland are ahead by 3 points. It's such a tense match. It's actually a really great game to watch because it's really close and Japan are playing extremely well. But it's really nerve wracking because like, I was kind of hoping that Ireland would sort of put this to bed early and it'd be a nice cushion and a big lead going into half time but that's not the case so it's very exciting but it makes me very very anxious Frank on the other hand is a lot less anxious Baby. I love you so. so the match is over and it ended 19-12 to Japan the second half Japan just came out super strong against Ireland and Ireland didn't really have any answers for them. I'm kind of shocked and a little bit devastated. We're just getting ready to go out now because we want to take Frank for a walk and we've decided that we're going to take him down to the park where I do my park runs to the dog run there so we can let him off and just let him run around and we might try and do a little bit of work on his recall as well. So for anyone who's wondering, the muzzle is just because we have him in this dog run here and there's some puppies just over there and he still has a little bit of a chase instinct and we don't want to take any chances with him and the puppies. But we brought him down and we're trying to work on his recall a little bit. So far he's been excellent. So I don't think training him for recall will actually be too difficult, it's just something that we have to really do. I owe you guys an apology and the reason I owe you an apology is because in yesterday's vlog I opened the vlog with kind of a tirade about our broken dishwasher and then I never said any more about it. I said that a guy was due to come yesterday to fix it and I never made any more mention of it again in yesterday's vlog. And I'm sorry, I completely forgot. Basically, while I was out doing the groceries, the guy came over and fixed the dishwasher. He didn't replace the catch, which I'm still kind of annoyed about. However, he showed Elaine a really easy way to fix it. So if it ever happens again, we don't need to call somebody out. We just, basically the problem was in the catch just here, this was basically caught up in the locked mechanism so that it wouldn't engage when we close the door. Now, if that happens, you just get a skewer and you stick it in there and you pop it back. That's all we need to do to fix it. And it's not a big deal at all. But the best part about it is Our dishwasher's working again. So that's great, it means that we don't have to do dishes for every single little thing that we use. We're just getting ready to go out now because we're going for dinner with my family tonight and we're heading out to a restaurant in Dublin called Isabel's because it was my sister's birthday on Thursday. So we're celebrating it tonight. Is it love? So I had this Parma ham pizza and it was really, really tasty. Just really enjoyed it. And it was just really nice to spend some time with my family and catch up and see everyone. It was just really great crack. Anyway, we're back home now and we're just a little bit tired. So we're just gonna take it easy before we go to bed. So I'm gonna leave this video here. I hope you like it. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.